I'm super excited to be a part of the ACMH family. Uh, we uh, have had great support from the hospital in order to bring our expertise uh, in the treatment of esophageal and gastric diseases to uh, Armstrong County. Um, we really view our approach to uh, treatment of esophageal and gastric diseases as a team approach with the patient being the center of that team. And uh, our goal really is to provide a uh, infrastructure, a network uh, that works around the patient instead of making the patient do the work to get the care. Um, so we're re very passionate about what we do. Um, our areas of uh, interest are primarily in gastroesophageal reflux disease, Barrett's esophagus, and esophageal cancer, um, and uh, are able to provide essentially one-stop shopping uh, for patients who have those diseases. There are multiple uh, new technologies uh, which we are bringing to ACMH, uh, one of which is called the LINX device. And in patients who have gastroesophageal reflux disease, that is the abnormal movement of fluid from the stomach into the esophagus, this disease can have a tremendous impact on their quality of life. The LINX device uh, is a, a series of magnetic beads, uh, almost like a series of peas, which are strung together uh, by intervening wires and it looks like a bracelet. And this is put around the end of the esophagus using a laparoscopic approach. Uh, the patient goes home the same day, which is fantastic. Um, so uh, no time in the hospital, less time to acquire hospital-acquired infections, etc., and a quicker recovery time in patients who have gastroesophageal reflux disease. Most of the patients that we operate on and that have this device implanted are off medication permanently, they can sleep flat, and they can eat the foods that formerly gave them trouble. We were the first to do the uh, POEM procedure in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, what this procedure is, is a, is a treatment for patients who have a disease known as achalasia. Achalasia is when the esophageal muscle, for reasons that are not known, quits working. And to compound matters is that the junction of the esophagus and stomach does not open to let food through. So patients get stacking of food and fluid in their esophagus. What the POEM procedure is designed to do is to use a purely incisionless endoscopic approach that is through the mouth, uh, a, a, an approach where we slide down between the layers of the esophagus and cut the diseased muscle. On the way out, we clip it shut like a trap door. And um, patients uh, can go home the same day or the following day and resume a uh, normal diet uh, very quickly and uh, have alleviation of these troublesome symptoms. We now have the ability to treat uh, advanced forms of uh, esophageal disease that are pre-malignant. One of those is Barrett's esophagus. Um, patients who have dysplasia in Barrett's, which is one step closer to cancer, um, the treatment had traditionally has been a piecemeal removal of that. And the reason for that is if you took out the whole cylinder of the inner lining esophagus, you would end up with scar tissue that uh, caused a stricture or a narrowing of the esophagus preventing normal eating. So uh, we haven't been able to, until recently, haven't been able to uh, take out the whole disease process in one shot in some patients. Um, so what we have devised is, a, is an approach where we can take out the whole inner cylinder of the esophagus, leaving the healthy muscle intact. Uh, and how we prevent stricture formation is we use a form of uh, pig product, it's pig bladder, where the cells have been removed from it, leaving just the uh, structural tissue. And we use the, we form it into a cylinder and we essentially wallpaper the inner lining of the esophagus or the remaining lining of the esophagus. And what this does is it tells the body to heal more normally. And we just received approval from the FDA to do this in a uh, sanctioned study uh, using uh, these devices um, uh, in this context. I don't come from Armstrong County, but I feel like I'm a, a member of that uh, county just by virtue of the fact that I've been coming here on a regular basis and have worked closely with the hospital to uh, dedicate a service uh, that brings unique uh, skill sets and abilities uh, to the patient population here. And that's very exciting for us because it helps our program to grow uh, which reaches uh, all across Western Pennsylvania. So I really consider it an honor to be a part of the ACMH family.